Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? I'm doing real good. <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales all right. What is our cool subject for today? Our cool subject for today is selling. It's not a race. It's a numbers game. Or is it? Okay, what does that got to do with selling? Is it a race? Or is it a numbers game? Or is it? The key to success when you get into sales is this, guys. You got to love the one you're with. You say, again, another one of those weird things. Love the one you're with. Sometimes if you're calling people over that phone, you're calling outbound. Or even if you get inbound calls. Or if you're knocking on a door and somebody says, hi, you got a captive audience for about that much time. Unless you can make a difference and change their perception perception of what's going on in their life. Listen, we're salespeople and we work hard, so we've got to work really smart. So if you're a salesperson, remember this one thing. It's not how fast that you rush through a sale. Now, if you are on time restraints and stuff like that, yeah, it can be kind of a little bit harder, but it also can be a little bit harder to close because you're under the gun. But the key to success in this regard is to remember that each sale builds a, a sell builds upon the next sale. And that means, hey, listen, if you don't get this one, as long as you're doing the right next thing, and that means overcoming objections, asking really great questions, and walking the customer through a process to see why what you're trying to sell them is of value, you have a better chance of making a sale. You know, when I was a door-to-door -door salesperson years and years ago, and I still am a door-to-door -door salesperson, but I do things a little bit different. You know, when I was younger, when I first started, I worked for the Tampa Tribune, which was a great company. I worked with some really great people, Mike Cartagena, some, some really great people, Dwayne Dabrowski, and some really good people, Ron. And these people were just really good. But I noticed that in their sales presentations, a lot of times they were a little bit slower. They were a little bit more focused. And as a young person, I'm already got ADHD. I'm a hyper happy person. I I get excited. I got some great information and it did me well. I was able to talk to a lot of people and sell a lot. But one of the things that I didn't see at a young person that I do now is sometimes you need to kind of slow down. Remember, it's not a race. Only time it's a race is if you have to sell something in a timely manner and you've got to get that information out. And I ain't saying lay there on the ground and just, you know, get them, let them kick all over you and just take your time and slow down. The first thing is you want to do is have a simple conversation. It's a selling conversation where you do an introduction. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. I work with this particular company. And hey, listen, I know you probably weren't expecting me, but my simple job is to show you some things that you may not have even thought of. And by the way, I noticed that you had a nice car out front. Uh, what year is that car? See, what you're doing is you're trying to build a little rapport with the customer. I love your grass. It looks pretty good. Or if you're over the phone, you may not have that option. You may be able to talk to them and say, hey, listen, hey, I'm with uh, X, Y, and Z. And the reason why I'm calling because you were reaching out to ask for some information. And my simple job is to help make sure you get that information. Or if they come into your showroom, hi, let them know that, hey, you appreciate them being there. Don't ignore them, but don't be over. Hey, how you doing? Just standing all over them. Give them a chance to come in and say, hi, my name is Gary Lee. I'm with X. Today, we've got a great sale going on. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and let you look because a lot of people come in here. They don't know we got specials and a lot of ways to save money. And you want to save money, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, it's a numbers game. It's not a race. Now, if you are working in a showroom, it behooves you, okay? I worked in furniture business, and I'm going to tell you what, and I worked in electronics for years, and I sold a lot of equipment. So what I had to do was I had to tie it up in a bow, gave them the features, told them a few features, told them the benefits of those features, and told them how things worked and why it would be of an advantage if they were to purchase. And I also always offered my credit. So if I had credit available, I kind of threw that in the beginning. I didn't throw it in the middle or the 
in, but I did drop hints all through it so customers would know that, hey, I know you're wanting to buy something. Yeah, it's expensive. Most people don't have cash, and so I can help you with that process. Again, I'm giving features and benefits, telling them about my product, showing them how it works, and I'm also making sure that I offer guarantees. Here's the thing, guys. If you're selling products and you're not offering your warranties, your service agreements, your maintenance agreements, or any fiber protection or whatever kind of guarantee you have on your products, you're not doing your company a service and you're damn sure not doing your customer a service and you're not making any extra money. So remember, guys, it's not the speed of the game selling. It's not... It's not, it's not a race. It's really not a race. It's a numbers game. Remember, if you give a good quality presentation to your customers, and like I said, if you have a good questions, and I mean good questions, guy, you don't want to ask a bunch of baloney. You want to get to the point. You want to have a little bit of fun. You always want to smile, and you always want to be curious, and you always want to be closing, always closing. What does that mean? That means, hey, listen, if they say, well, yeah, I like that. Well, did you want to go ahead and get it? Did you see that? I just shut up and I just said, did you want to get it? And I put it back in their court and they say, well, yeah, okay. Well, then write it up and just talk about something else. Don't talk about the product. Talk about what they're going to do that afternoon. But if you're talking to people over the phone, you're cold calling people or they're calling you because they got problems and issues because you work in a customer service center, you're a salesperson too. So remember, you want to overhear what they got to say. You want to listen to their complaints. You want to listen to them get mad and frustrated, but don't take it personal. What you're wanting to do is transition, take care of the issue and offer additional services. Okay, because that makes you more valuable. And in this day and age, a lot of people are doing stuff from home. And aren't you wanting to make more money, honey? I'm just saying. And our topic for today is selling. It doesn't have to be a race. It can be, I'm just telling you, it can be a little steer, baby. You can be just driving on down. It's a numbers game. <clears throat> I've learned this <clears throat> over my years of selling. And the reason why I know that is, see, we all want to sell every single person we talk to. And the better you get at what you're doing, you will be able to sell more. But see, sometimes people may not like you the way your eyes are, the way your hair. Maybe they don't like your teeth. Maybe they don't like your breath. Maybe they don't like your clothes. Maybe they don't like your killer. Maybe they don't like that you smoke. They may smell marijuana. They smell a vaping. They smell cigarettes. People have got all kinds of reasons why they give excuses about why they don't want to buy. It could be sometimes they don't need it. Remember, guys, it's not a race. It's a numbers game. The more people you talk to, share good presentations. Remember, guys, you got to work on your presentation. If you're just getting into sales, you want to have what they call a sales script. And basically, it gives you the fundamentals how to walk through the process of selling a particular product. You got to learn your paperwork too, guys, because I'll tell you what, I'm in real estate and I sell all kinds of other stuff, but the real estate stuff had so much paperwork. It was like, oh my gosh. And see, once you start learning the paperwork process, you get a little bit, you feel more encouraged. You feel good. And don't forget your mentors. You got to get people to help you and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Watch all my cool videos. I got a whole bunch of them and I'm going to tell you what, they're all about everything there is to know about selling and I can help you. And there are a lot of great other people that can motivate you. And my simple job today is just to make sure that as a salesperson, you feel good within your own self. A lot of times we don't feel good about who we are. We're a little afraid. I get scared sometimes. And I've been doing this since the 80s in one form or capacity. It's called fear, false evidence appearing real. And it sucks, man, because we can blow big, or should I say little bitty things up to make them real big. And then we get scared. So remember, guys, you're important and we matter. Without salespeople, we can't make the world go around. Nothing gets done without a salesperson. I don't care what kind of business you're in. If somebody ain't selling, they're getting ready to shut your door. Cluck. And I'm going to tell you what, that sucks. Listen, guys, the selling it, it's not a race. So when you get a chance to be with the customer, 
Love the one you're with. Take your time with them. Ask them those good open questions to find out what's going on in their purchasing life. Why they haven't bought. Maybe ask what they have. Ask questions that make them go, well, you know what? I hadn't thought about that. And you want to also ask those questions that make them see them owning it. You got to paint a picture. You got to paint a broad picture of seeing themselves. Could you see yourself with this beautiful refrigerator? Oh my goodness, it'll be great. You know, come summertime, you put all the pops in there for the kids and all that. Or, or maybe you're selling a house. Look at this beautiful home. Do you see you and your family living in? Or you're selling insurance over the phone. Uh, Ma'am, I'll tell you what, a lot of people, they're dying to talk to me. <laughs> you have a little bit of fun, guys. Don't make it a drudgery. Don't make selling so tough. It's really not. I didn't say you were going to sell them all. Remember, what did I say? It's not a race. It's a numbers game. The more opportunities you give yourself to talk to people, the better you're going to be. And see, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. I'm also your real estate sales guy. I got a couple of different channels. Check, check me out under Gary Lee Stanley. And check me out under your real estate sales guy. And check out some of my comedy channels because you know what? I think I'm pretty funny. Uh, at least looking. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and our total topic for today is selling. Is it a race or is it, is it the numbers game or does it really matter? It really does matter. If you have to be in a hurry because you have to tell as many people as you can because you work in a mall situation where you got a lot of customers and stuff, you want to give that information, but you want to have good stuff to talk about. If you don't know the basics and the fundamentals about your product, it's really hard to have that good selling conversation. So you want to get to the point. Tell them features, benefits, ask them good questions, make sure you offer your financing, also your guarantee your warranties and service agreements so when things do go wrong and if they're man-made or woman-made they will break and they will have issues and I always do this for my customers I do selfies with my customers I make them feel good and I also do it with a smile so they can see themselves with a smile and I give them my personal number because I work out in the field now you may not want to do that but I do it because I want customers to get in touch with me remember I told you it was a numbers game and it wasn't a race I want these people if they're having problems it could be something simple and you could fix it they'll give you a referral and they'll help you get more customers or if you don't help them because you sold them a piece of crap service or a product they ain't gonna forget it they're gonna blame you first they're gonna put your bad name out there and if you're out there working you may end up seeing them again so always leave the customer with something positive not everybody's gonna buy from you you got to do your due diligence to try remember all from features high interest introduce yourself. Tell them how we're so glad to talk to you. Man, I hope you're having a great day. And then you start talking about what's in it for the customer. It ain't about you. It don't matter about you. And don't come across as desperate and in a hurry. Because sometimes people, they may be in a hurry. So remember that. You want to mirror those people. You want to mirror the type of personalities they have. You want to have that conversation with those people. If they're in a, in a fast mode, you need to be in a fast mode. If they're in a slower mode, slow down. But you always got to keep in the back of your mind. Let's get this done. Let's write this up. Love the one you're with. Take care of the customer that you're with and the next one will work. Because see, you could be talking to four or five other people, 10 more people, and you may not sell crap. So if you've got a person who's giving you objections or they're asking questions, you've got yourself a customer. You got yourself a sale. Remember, it's not a race. Do not try to go so fast. And listen, when you're first getting into sales, okay, I just recently got into real estate not too long ago. I had to start all over again. I had to work within my sphere of influence. So I use all the tools that I've learned over my selling career so that I'm able to have good conversations, build rapport with people, and also build relationships. Because see, it's like this, guys. In selling, you want to not just do business with that customer one time, unless it's something really small. And even if it is real small, people come back into your store a lot. These bottles
box stores that sell these products and guarantees and stuff, people come back and forth all the time. And I've seen people remember me and I remember them and they always seem to want to do a better deal for me. They always want to do something special for me because the way you come across and how you treat people, never look down on people. And if you get to a level where you're getting really good in sales, don't look down on people. Remember where you come from and be a mentor and help those brothers and sisters out there who need your love. Remember guys, selling can be exciting. It can be a great career. It can also be drudgery. It can be a pain. It can be like, oh shoot, man, I work on straight commission and I ain't made nothing. Maybe just revisit what you're doing. Get motivated. Go back over some of these, these uh, videos that I have and watch these and get motivated again. Go back to the basics. If you're struggling, talk about the benefits for the customer. Don't get that salesman's breath. I need to sell something. If you get like that, it can be a struggle and you may not sell it. If you got products that you can buy yourself that you can say to your customers, yeah, I know how you feel. That's why I've got one. It makes your selling easier. We just had a really great conversation today about selling it's not a race. It is a numbers game. So enjoy your race. <laughs> if you're going too fast, slow down a little bit. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the ride. And I guarantee you, you'll sell more. You really will. It works if you work it, but you got to live it. So enjoy your life. Do a great job. Remember, it's a numbers game. You may not get them all, but you keep building. Don't give up. Don't quit. And I guarantee you, you'll be a successful salesperson. It works. Okay, so get out there and sell something. It ain't a race. Enjoy the ride. Slow down. And remember, it's a numbers game. All right.